my favorite thing about ManyChat is that you can filter by basically anything you want. Your customers are different and have different buying habits, wants and needs. So as marketers, we need to be able to segment them by those needs so we can offer them the best information. Filtering with Instagram automations is actually very, very simple. This way, you can create a more targeted experience for the customer. So let's see how filtering works first. Here I am in the audience tab, and with just a few clicks, you can maximize your automation experience and better connect with your audience. Let's say that you just want to know a report on the numbers of people that have engaged with a specific flow. You know that we can add a tag to button so we can know when the person has engaged with that specific function. We can filter through those. So here, we're going to select filter. I'm going to add a condition where the tag is going to be every single person that has received the thank you coupon. Here, I'm going to see Gustavo, yet another Gustavo, Angela, and Joyce. These are the four people that if I wanted to re-engage with about their thank you coupon, all I had to do was filter through the tag and now I found them. This way, you can make sure that you know the names or the amount of people that have interacted with a specific flow or a specific campaign in a time frame. Let's say that we're running an Instagram ad on a promo. So we want to know how many people engaged when we were running the promo versus how many people engaged after in the following month without the paid promo. So as you can see, we added a tag guide promo to that specific flow, and I'm going to condition it by subscription date. So let's say that on April, we were running an Instagram ad for a discount. So we want to know how many people engaged with that ad in April and how many people engaged with it in the month following that we didn't invest in ads. See how my tag here is guide promo so I can find everyone who has engaged with that specific flow. Next, I'm going to do subscribed after the 31st of March. Why? Because if I do the 1st of April, it's not going to include people who engaged on the 1st. I want everyone who engaged on the 1st and before the 1st of May because I want everyone up to the 30th, which is why we do one day prior, one day forward. And here it is showing me that three people engaged with the ad on those dates. Now, let's change it to see how many people engaged in May when we were not running the ads. So see how now we changed subscribe to after the 30th of April, but before June 1st. And we see that only two people engaged with it, which is telling us that we ran a successful campaign because we had one extra lead that month instead of the two we got in the following month. You can do this in live chat as well. If we head into the live chat bubble, you're going to find that you can filter through many conditions using the filter button. By clicking it, you can apply different conditions, such as the tag, like for example, interested in lunch, because we want to have a specific conversation with every single person who was really interested in our specific product launch. And if in any of our flows, we are requesting information that we are storing on bot fields, we can filter through that condition as well. So let's imagine that we're selling a product that is only for 18 plus, such as certain beverages for people over the age of 18 in almost everywhere or 21 in the US. So if we were requesting this information in any of our flows, we can apply these conditions and only talk to the people over the age of 18 who are interested in our launch. Last but not least, if we head over to the arrow, you can also do this for your broadcast. So let's say we want to send the flow email follow-up broadcast. And as you can see, we have added different tags to all of the buttons so we can segment in the future. By clicking on go next, you can also condition who are you sending this email to. So you can say email has any value to make sure that it's everyone as you can see up here, or you can send it to specific people. So you can select to send it to Will, or you can select to also send it to Sergey. Notice how this is going to say, whoops, 
looks like no one fits the selected criteria, because here it says all of the following conditions. I don't think we're going to find a person whose male is Will and it's also Sergey. So we're going to change it to any of the following conditions. And we're going to hit send now. Here in the settings for sending your email, it is automatically going to provide you with the conditions of opted in for email is true and email has any value. And now you can play around with the other conditions. Here, we're setting up the conditions that we want to send this over to anyone whose email is Will Quillen or email is Roger Tung. See how it says that no one fits the selected criteria? That's because we are selecting all of the following conditions. If we switch it to any, see how now we have two users. If you remove all of these, you're going to be provided with a number of all the users who have opted in for email and whose emails we have collected and stored on our ManyChat account. Well, there you have it. The more you start playing around with these tags, the better you'll become at filtering and targeting your users. And as I always say, don't forget to check out the rest of our Instagram course, head over to our ManyChat community on Facebook and learn more about Instagram on the ManyChat blog. Thank you and have a fantastic day.